Did you know you can use the iModel Hub to connect a Revit model to an iTwin? Then reference the iTwin to your Open Buildings model. This is a great way to coordinate between an Open Buildings DGN model and a Revit model. All you need is the Revit file. First, you will need to set up a ProjectWise project at connect.bentlink.com. From Open Buildings Designer, you can select the Connection Client icon and select View Profile. Sign in to the Connection Center. The Home tab will bring you to your home page for the Connect Center. Select the Projects tab and select Register a Project to register a new project. Now you will need to have administrator privileges with your account to register a new project. You may need to talk to your site administrator. Enter a project number and project name. Select an asset. This can be not applicable if appropriate. Select an industry and type. and select a billing country. You may also select allow external team members if you would like team members outside your organization to be able to add files to the share and connect their model directly to the iTwin. However, you will be responsible for their licensing. Select register. The project opens in the web browser. On the team members tile, select manage. Select Add Users. Use either your name or email to add yourself and any other team members you wish to have access. Select a role for yourself that will give you privileges to view, read, write, manage, and delete on the iModel Hub. Roles and permissions are managed by your site administrator. Browse back to the project homepage. Scroll down to the ProjectWise 365 services and select the share tile. Select Browse to select and upload the Revit model to the share. Browse back to the project homepage. Scroll down to iTwin Services and select the iModel Manager tile. Select Create iModel and give the iModel a name and description. Then select Create. Go back to the iModels tab. Here, from the three dots, select Connections. Select Create Connection. Select iTwin File Service and select Next. Select the Revit model and select Next. Again, select the Revit model and select Next. Now this screen indicates the files will be processed with the Revit bridge, which is correct, so select Next. Give the connection a name, and if desired, set a schedule for synchronization. Never will allow you to sync manually whenever the Revit model is overwritten in the share. Select Create. Select the connection and select Synchronize to sync manually. The synchronization will be queued up and may take a few minutes depending on the queue and the size of the file. Once the files have processed successfully, 
you can close the connection setter. In Open Buildings Designer, select the Collaborate tab. Select Associate Project to Workset in order to link this workset with the new ProjectWise project. Select Browse. Select the newly registered project. If you have a number of ProjectWise projects, you might want to use the Recent filter to find the new project. Select Associate, and then select OK. Now you can select the Attach iTwin icon, select the I model created earlier, select the Revit model to attach, and select Attach. The Revit model is now attached to your DGN file for coordination. It will appear in the References dialog and can be displayed on or off. The Revit objects will display in the Items list where they can be selected and viewed. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.